hello guys and welcome once again to my channel and in the last video of this series basically i did an updated video of our introduction um explain a couple of reasons as well as the, as well as some of the new things that we are going to be looking at so in today's video what we are going to be doing basically is we are going to be um installing or creating our new reactor native application as well as testing them on our emulators to see how they pan out just fine okay so uh if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscription uh, hit the subscribe button um as well as whenever you watch any video you can drop your comments to give me feedback on what you would like to see for another video and all that stuff all right so i created a new folder already before i began doing this video and i called that folder manage contacts so i'm just going to get my terminal up i'm going to paste this command here and i'm going to call this project manage contacts all right, and it's going to create for us a new React Native project. All right, so now our React Native, um, our React Native application, our React Native project is done scaffolding. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, uh, I'm going to just minimize you right now. All right, so let's just get this off. And uh, I'm going to get my IO simulator. And also, I'm going to get my Android emulator. All right, so let me get my uh, AVD manager. And uh, okay, let me get this. And now our emulator has kicked off. We're gonna get rid of this right now. All right, I'm gonna minimize this. All right, so um, like I said, if you had to have any problem um, while installing, installing maybe Java or Android or any of those things in Windows, Mac or Linux, you can just drop um, your problem below the description and i'm going to help you out with it all right so i'm going to head back uh, in here and uh, the first thing i want to do is i'm going to run pod install but first i'm going to head over to the ios folder uh, no ios directory are you sure okay so let's go over to manage contact all right so i'm going to run pod install uh oh sorry have to move into the is folder and then i'm going to run pod install okay and uh now that is going to download all the dependencies we are going to need for ios so basically all the packages that we have set by default for this project so you can see pod installation complete there for seven dependencies from pod file and then i'm going to run react native run ios oh sorry i have to get out of this folder sorry i have to get out of this folder yep and now i'm going to run react native run ios um unrecognized command run sorry react native run ios and now this is going to build this project for us and then bring it up on our ios simulator all right guys so our react native application is done uh, building for our ios so if i just head over to my ios simulator right here you can see that it just has the basic React Native stuff, all right? So we are going to build for Android, all right? And for Android, we are, um, let me just open a new terminal here, and I'm going to run React Native run Android. Uh, well, okay, sorry, let's get into manage contact, and then React Native run Android. And right here, we have, a, um, and right here, we have a fill, and what does it say? Okay, guys, so our application is done building, and um, our application is right here on our Android um, emulator. Uh, the problem, or the reason why that particular build was failing was because of the Gradle distribution URL. So all you just need to do is just change the Gradle distribution URL to one of the very recent Gradle versions. As at the time I did this video, the Gradle distribution URL that came with this project, when I do an MPX, um, create React Native application, right? Using MPX Core for the 6.0.1, all right? But the most recent version is 6.5. So once I got this to distribution URL, and then I did React Native build Android, uh, it just built fine. All right, so here is our application for our Android emulator, and here's our application on our Android simulator. All right, guys, so that would do for this video. In the next video, we are going to look at how we can basically set up our splash screen. Thank you.